Hi everybody, this is Ian from In 30 Minutes Guides. Today I'm going to be talking about how to clear the cache in Google Chrome for Windows, Mac OS, or Chromebook. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me and let's get started. And typically what happens is you need to clear the cache. And when I say clear the cache, it's spelled C-A-C-H-E. And oftentimes when you have a technical problem and you contact support, the websites will say, oh, you need to clear the cache. Here's how to do it. Open Google Chrome. Go to the upper right corner, you'll see this icon, three dots. Click on that, select settings. There's two ways to get to this particular setting. One is to go to, I think it's privacy and security. Yep, it's clear browsing data, and it, you can see caches right there. The other way is just to search for cache, and it comes right up. So select that, and you'll come to this particular setting. Now, a couple of things to note about this. Cache is cached images. These, this means images and files that are stored on your computer and then your computer, your browser can kind of recall them uh, when you're visiting that particular site. And the reason for doing this is it makes it easier and faster for the browser to load that particular site. The problem is, is when there's some sort of conflict on the, on the back end and maybe something's been updated on the website but it hasn't been updated in the cache and that's why technical support is asking you to, asking you to clear the cache. Uh, the other thing is, is that you can see there's other types of data as well. That includes browsing history, cookies, and other site data. Note that download history and passwords are not selected. I do not recommend selecting this one and then clearing the data because that means the next time you try to log into those particular sites, you'll be prompted to come up with the password and maybe you don't know it. <laughs> okay, and you can see I have like 700 passwords stored by Google and that makes life easier for me. So just make just keep cached images and files and cookies and browsing history selected. Uh, then the other thing you need to do is that it prompts you for the time range. It says all time by default. Just a warning, if you do this, it'll take a long time if you haven't done this ever. Um, you know, there might be thousands of sites that it has to get rid of and it takes time for your computer to chug through all of that. You can select a shorter period of time, including the last hour, but that may not solve the particular problem that's requiring you to clear the cache. But anyways, that's how you do it. For more information on how to get the most out of technology, go to in30minutes.com. We have a range of guides on all kinds of mildly to complex topics, including genealogy, including Google Drive and Google Docs, including crowdfunding, including Microsoft 365. It's a very helpful series. Many thousands of readers have been satisfied by these guides, and you can get them on in30minutes.com. This is Ian Lamont signing off. Thank you so much for watching.